What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is um, the Monday the 6th of May. I am at a client this morning at the studio and I'm just doing some work before I get into my workout. I'm just setting up some client goals. So I'm writing down some goals for the new week for one of my clients, Laura. And I'm just about to send them to her. I'll send them to her now and show you. Laura, I hope you're ready for these if you're watching because Big week ahead, that's all I'm saying. Paste and send. So that's small scent. Um, I'm gonna be getting Laura on the Google Doc soon, but it still works. Anyway, um, plan for today is I've still got to do a few more client goals and then I'm gonna be uploading the YouTube video before this video, um, Vlog 51. I still don't know what the name's gonna be. I still don't know what the thumbnail's gonna be. What's the most clickbait thing I can think of? Uh, I'll figure something out. And then today is um, the last week um, for the deload, for the mock meet, so we're going to be going to try and hit our openers today, it's deadlifts. I'm going to be going for probably 500 pounds, 227 kilos, my thought for deadlifts is I'm going to go something like 227, 235, maybe 237, 38, something like that, and then 245, that's, that's the hope, so I will be honest, like, I'm feeling a bit, my back's feeling a bit tight, um, my elbow's been hurting a wee bit, so I'm not feeling 100%, but it doesn't matter. This is probably what it's meant to feel like when it's getting close to like a meet, you're really pushing your body limit. I'm only going for one top rep, and then, you know, relax. I actually get less nervous going for a single than going for like reps, like, because, you know, it's just all about that one rep. But I'm gonna get my mind right, I'm gonna focus, and I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna fucking nail this. So let's get into it. Right guys, so I've been getting quite a lot of questions recently about what I do for like lower back pain or a tight back in general. So I thought I'd show you what I do before workouts. What I'll do is I'll foam roll first, um, usually going right up my upper back and then down on my lower back. I like to raise my hands above my head like this, um, just to help me really push against it. Foam rolling is really good for releasing tense. Uh, releasing some tension and I'll go to either side of my lats as well then for mobility what I'll do I'm not exactly sure what these are called but basically what you do is you put your hands out either side nice and flat keep your chest facing up to the ceiling and just roll your knees either side knee rolls that's what they're called and um, again do a little pause at each side nice little control I usually do about 10 in total and um, again really good for releasing tension on the lower back um, and getting your joints going then we go on to um, the yoga movement cat to dog or dog to cat or whatever. Basically all it is is you get in this position and it's just focusing on starting with your back completely arched and then raising it up, really breathe in deep and get that full little extension at the top and go back down again and repeat this about 10 times with a little pause at the bottom. Um, this one, I usually tend to do all these exercises before squats and deadlifts just because there is so much tension on your back throughout these movements. Um, sometimes for bench as well, but mainly for squat and deadlift. Then for stretches, what I'll do is this one here. Basically, it's very similar to the knee rolls, except what you do is you use your hand to hold your knees in position and you rotate out, extend your hand to the other side. Like, this one's really good for stretching out your entire back, I really feel it. Hold it for about 15 seconds or so. Go over to the other side. Again, hand on, keep your knees locked in. Rotate round like so. Um, this one I've been started to implement a lot. It does feel a lot better. Um, my back does feel a lot better for it. Then the last stretch, a big reason you might be suffering from a tight back is because you actually have very tight hamstrings. So what I'll do is I've added in this little hamstring stretch. Um, so I just grab the top of my knee, pull right in again home for about 15 seconds each side. But remember guys, these are just things I do that have been working for me. Um, but if you are in back issues, go see a physio, go get it checked out to be sure, because this might work for me, but it might not work for you, okay? So let's get into the deadlifts. Right, bars loaded. 227 kilos, 500 pounds. I'm very positive on the channel, always focus on being like happy and stuff, but this is where I've got to dig deep in here. Think about some personal stuff. Get me going. Rip this fucking weight off the floor. Get the right PR song, get everyone set. And we fucking do it.
Watching that back, very pleased, um, moved well, and yeah, I'm confident going into mock meat now. That's the last heavy pull before it, so that'll be my opener, and we'll go from there. So, what I'm going to do now for the rest of the workout, I'm kind of going off my power building program as well, because when you're going into a mock meat, you're meant to lower, but when you're going into a meet, you're meant to lower the volume. So, I'm only going to do three more back exercises, very light biceps, and I'm going to keep all the pressure off my back. Um, I'm going to try and minimize as much like load on it on my spine as possible so i'll show you a couple different exercises that you guys can try out everybody gets high sometimes you know what else can we do when we're feeling low so take a deep breath and let it go you shouldn't be drowning on your own and if you feel you're sinking, I will jump right over into cold, cold water for you. And all the time may take us into different places, I will still be patient with you. Alright, picked up a little shop from Lidl and Tesco. This is going to be my lunch and my post-workout meal. So 60 grams of whey protein, 100 grams of fruit and fibre cereal, um, and 250 ml of this strawberry milk. Um, then 4 slices of this Danish Warburton's bread from Tesco. Um, 8 slices of ham between the two sandwiches and 80 grams of coleslaw. Then a Granny Smith apple for health. These two items I just want to quickly show you for any of you that are dieting. I mentioned chocolate milk on like my Instagram story and stuff, but um, this is the strawberry milk from Lidl and the calories and macros in this are amazing. Let me just show you. Really good if you want something sweet that is actually manageable. 200 mils, 3.2 grams of fat and 8.6 grams of protein. That's really, really good. Um, the Danish white bread. Now bread normally even like everyone goes for the wholemeal bread because it's like healthy, but if you're looking for a low calorie bread, um, this is 63 calories per slice. And uh, normally a bit of bread is like 90 to 100, so that saves you a, a bit of extra calories if you want them. Um, Christ, my I broke my um, gorilla uh, my tripod. Oop, I broke my tripod um, a while back. The thing's kind of loose, so that falls out pretty regularly. It's really really annoying, but. Um, uh, I actually up my calories to 3,400 calories um, and if I do a little bit more activity, if I'm a bit more active throughout the day, I've actually increased that so I think my next video I'll do a full day of eating for that. <laughs> Wait, 
So, change of scenery, came to Starbucks, uh, because basically what I've been doing, I do work sometimes, I'll do this thing where I fully charge my laptop and then I come to a cafe and leave the charger at home, that way I'm like, have to focus and get work done um, in the time before the, uh, before the laptop dies, and it's quite an effective um, method if you want to try it for any students who are watching for studying or anything you want to get done, like it really makes you focus, it makes you like stay off your phone for example. Um, but what I've been working on is basically I'm reviewing two application forms of the new applications forms for Team Mad Fitness and um, two people are looking to join and I'm just looking over them before I start making up their plans and um, before I start looking if they are right for the team. So basically I'll show you a bit. So the application form here it tells you everything you need to know, it tells you you know what you get. And then what it does is you get a bunch of questions. This will be the application form if you do want to join the team will be linked in the description. But first, so you know it comes up with some main questions. What is your main overall goal? What are you hoping to achieve? Have you ever had a PT coach before? Then it goes on to things like diet and nutrition, then um, training and exercise. And it covers a lot of different things, lifestyle and then just some extras. And then once you complete the form, I will review it, see if you're right for the team. And if you are, I will start making up your plans. Because when I say right for the team, I've gone to the point now where I don't just want to take on anyone. I want to take on the right people, the people who are willing to work hard and be part of the make a decision attitude and brand. And um, that you are willing to work hard and you've decided to make a positive You've made a positive choice to go and chase a better life, a better lifestyle, get in shape, and you're committed to doing that, not just, you know, doing it and then not giving it 100%. Because as a coach, you can't, I will give you my 110%, so I want the same back, and if we do that, we will get you results. As a coach, I'm only as good as my cl clients allow me to be, if that makes sense. It's a team thing. And the better the relationship works, the more successful it'll be. But I'm just gonna sit here and finish this deadlifts, you know, the 500 pounds move well, and I've got squats and bench next, and I'm going to be looking to smash them, and then we deal and we're good to go. Body power this weekend, I'm buzzing for that, I'm going to be vlogging the whole weekend. Um, I don't know if I'll make three like, I don't know if I'll make like, a separate video for like going down, and then a video for the whole day, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I'm excited for that. I might make a video before then, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one.